subscribe to the channel and activate the bell button to be in touch. Even if you think Johnny Depp is scoffing at Amber Heard's move to set aside his jury verdict on grounds it was excessive, firing back that the $10 million judgment reflects the loss he actually suffered after she defamed him. Johnny's lawyers say there's clear evidence that after Amber's op-ed appeared in the Washington Post back in 2018, he had no work, he didn't appear in a single studio production until October, 2020. That alone, the lawyers say, supports the $10 million verdict. In fact, Depp's legal docs refer to one of Johnny's reps negotiating a deal for the sixth installment of Pirates of the Caribbean for $22.5 million. Just prior to the op-ed being published, the producer, Jerry Bruckheimer, was all in, saying he really wanted Johnny. As you know, after the op-ed, Johnny was persona non grata on the production. The lawyers say Johnny proved with experts during the trial his actual loss came to far more than $10 million. It was more than $40 million. Why short story? Johnny's lawyers say Amber is grasping at Strostiums broke the story. Amber filed legal docs last week claiming one of the jurors fraudulently was impaneled. Her legal team says a man was summoned, but someone with the same name from his household, the man's son, took the summons to court and became a juror, and that, her team says, should warrant a new trial. Johnny's team fired back. Amber could have objected at the beginning of the trial but didn't, so it's tough luck for her.